Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Six Flows here. Just showing you a way um, on how to edit your vocals to get that studio quality sound. And this is how I get my sound. Right here, this is a track of my brother that he recorded. These are his vocals. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to record in mono, not stereo. So to record in mono, click on record right here. Click on left channel, 16-bit, and hit OK. Once you have recorded your vocals, double click your vocals, double click again to highlight the whole thing. Go to edit on top, convert sample type. Click on stereo, 16 bit and hit okay. Next thing you wanna do is go to effects on the left hand side right here. Amplitude, amplify, and center wave and hit OK. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna compress the track. To do so go to amplitude again, dynamics processing, classic softening, and hit OK. Go back into dynamics processing and hit on real audio compander and click OK. We're gonna go into filters now. Open up filters, FFT filter, de and hit OK. Now go back into FFT filter, hear the mic rumble, and hit OK. Okay, this next step that we're going to do is graphic equalizer. The graphic equalizer settings that I use is a preset that came with CoEdit Pro. Um, they seem to work really good for me. Um, a lot of people like to tweak their equalizer up a bit, so... What I'm going to show you is just a preset that comes with Coeda Pro. You can choose to tweak it, stay with it, or go a whole different way about it. But this is how I get my sound. So, go into Graphic Equalizer. What I use is Premaster EQ, 10 band. These are the settings for it, and hit OK. Next thing you want to do is go into Delay Effects. Click on Reverb. These are my settings for reverb, 700 ms length, attack time, 10 ms, frequency, 1812, perception, 0, 100% dry, and 35% wet. Um, You could add it to your presets, that way you don't have to keep writing the settings down and click OK. After that, what you're going to do is go into Notion Reduction, click Pop Eliminator, Hiss and lots of clicks and hit auto find all levels. It will take a couple seconds depending on how fast your computer is. And hit OK. Um, if I'm helping you out and you like the settings, go ahead and subscribe to me, like this video. And if you have any questions about the process or just any plain questions about recording, just write a comment and I'll answer as soon as I can. Okay, that is it for editing your vocals. What I like to do is, I like to go in, take the unnecessary breaths out. And keep in mind to get the studio quality vocals, it's not all about what you do to the vocals, it's how you record your vocals. So make sure wherever you record is not um, too echoey. So I suggest tr try to go into a corner of a room, throw some blankets up. If you have studio foam, that's great. Just do everything possible to get rid of um, the echo in the room. Next. But what I'd like to do is I record my first verse and under that track, I like to record a double of the same verse, breath for breath, word for word. Then at, under that, I like to say the last word of every rhyme. And after that, I throw in my ad-libs. Um, like I said, this is just a tutorial on how to edit your vocals. Um, I'm soon going to have a, a, a tutorial on how I record my vocals as long with with how I edit those vocals, which is like this video. But I'm going to show you step by step on how I record, how I pan, um, how I pan to the left, to the right, um, the volume that I use and everything. Because all that is like, you need that. You can't just record one verse and one track and expect for it to sound, you know, studio quality. You're going to need to have, like, you know, you need to have a lot in there so it can sound the stereo. Okay. 
Now, what you want to do is, um, if you have Adobe Edition, open it up. I have it open up here already. After you have saved your track on Cool Edit, um, try to save it under Wave. And what I want you to do is open it up. Here, I have saved already. Open it. And turn it to a multi track. These are these are like the mastering steps, so you can get that full full sound and what you want to do is go to effects on the first track click on effects power right here and open up the effects rack what you want to do is go to direct x isotope ozone 4 and these are the settings that i use you can pause the video and see the settings that i use hit ok and close it out and after that, just save it, save it as your MP3, and that's about it. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget, I'm gonna have the the song at the end of the video, so you can listen to the quality. Um, subscribe, comment, rate. I wonder why you left me, you forgot me, you were always right beside me, and I sadly, your tears just went away, something turned to nothing, and nothing turned to hate, I believed you when you told me I was your soulmate, I guess that Lee was right, it was only just a dream, you always try to make it harder than it really seemed, but now I'm all alone, rapping on this track, wishing you were here, damn I really want you back, my mama always told me, you were never good, but I stood up for you, like I always should. Maybe it's just hate, or maybe it was fate. You always made it seem like it was only just a game. Things will never be the same, you will always be the same. Crying out for you, through all the tears and all the pain. Now I'm thinking to myself, should I ever live again? But damn, and sometimes I...